Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the coarser problem that is minimum and maximum i. What is i? I don't know. So let's denote let a denote a permutation of length n and we have a function again that is summation of i equal to 1 to n. Previously it was i equal to 1 to n minus 1 but now we have i equal to 1 to n and we need to take the minimum value of two adjacent elements ai and ai plus 1 and then we need to find the value for i equal to n the adjacent value will be n plus 1 equal to i that means it is a circular for last value you can pair up with the first value that is the only thing you can see nothing else so we need to find <coughs> the solution let's say we have n equal to 3 so for n equal to 3 we have 1 2 3 so if we take the minimum value of this this is 1 this is 2 and this is 1 hmm, is it hmm, yes it is so 1 2 2 3 like that okay so here answer is 4 and you are getting so no issues 1 3 2 will also get the same answer not a problem so let's do it for some good case hmm. so let's remove this and take this n equal to 4 okay now we have 1 2 3 and 4 so what is the sum possible 1 that is 2 that is 3 and 1 again so 3 2 5 1 7 but answer is 6 so we are doing something wrong that we can observe so what is wrong we need we need to rearrange the fashion in the fashion that the minimum element the contribution from maximum elements these elements will be reduced this is the same logic we have discussed earlier also like in previous case we need to um, like uh, increase the contribution but in this case we need to decrease the contribution that is right so in this case we need to decrease the contribution of this okay so how can we rearrange so we can rearrange in the fashion like this 2 4 1 3 so what it will give it will give 2 okay this will give 1 this will give 1 and this will give 2 so that is 6 so what you can think the main thing how can you think <clears throat> so like um, suppose we have these elements mm, 1 2 3 4 at how many places this one can contribute hmm? this can contribute to two places two places this can contribute to two places how many places this can contribute two places right if these will contribute to two places then there is no space for these so we can directly eliminate these so if you do that then it is 2 and 4 if you take this sum you will get your answer so let's understand the better case okay so suppose you have n equal to 5 now you have 1 2 3 4 and 5 what do I, what I want? I want the contribution of 5 from two things. 2. So let it be 2. Here, 2. But, so there are only 5. 5 values we can take. And we have the contribution already 4. We can get up to 4. But now one position is remaining. What we will do? We will take it from here. 
we'll add it from here that will be 3 so you will get uh, 6 plus 3 that is 9 that is a very simple case what you need to do you need to go like sort the array sort basically you uh, we are not given in any array so that is n so you can directly take the list from 1 to n and then what you need to do you need to multiply 1 by 2 2 by 2 and the case you need to understand like if it is odd then you need to add this one time because we have only one place left if it is even that means we have two place left so we'll add it twice that is the simple solution for this problem so let's see uh, one more better case we can see like uh, for n equal to 6 n equal to 6 what we can do we can have 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have not you don't need to think anything else just multiply 1 by 2 multiply 2 by 2 4 multiply 3 by 2 that is 6 so answer will be 12 here that is very straightforward so let's discuss the code implementation is very simple so let's see so what we need to do we need to take the input i have written this code in python because in c++ i have, it is not working i don't know why but this is a very simple solution straightforward so we need to declare a key variable that is the uh, we need to divide like n divided by 2 okay so we need to do integer division then we need to take the sum so sum is what n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the sum right but i was saying like we need to multiply every element twice so if we do twice then this will cancel out this and this so this is the remaining that's why i have written this thing p into p plus 1 okay so then what we need to do if it is odd then we need to add that element otherwise it's fine so this is the solution for this question hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding